In this video, I go over my story with lacking self-confidence and what I do in the gym to fix it. I'm not the biggest or strongest guy in the gym, and I'm still actively working on myself, but I've come a long way and want to share with you how I did it, to hopefully inspire some of you out there to do it too. Okay, let's go. Growing up, I was, well, a bit of a chunky kid. I love candy, and my motto used to be, anything with sugar in it is for me. That should be enough. A little more. Come on, Matt. Come on. Candy, pastries, ice cream, you name it. Which, I was a kid, so it was understandable not caring about my health in the slightest, but I definitely went pretty overboard in my younger years. I was definitely uncomfortable in my own skin. I would wear a shirt to go swimming, and looking back on it, it feels so stupid, but that's just what I did. Once I had a growth spurt from grade eight to grade nine, it helped with my belly, but I would still keep up those eating habits and was always sort of upset about how I looked, but didn't really do anything about it. I would be somewhat active, going outside to play sports with friends, but apart from that, I would be at school or at home watching YouTube, playing video games, and essentially just eating carbs and sugar. When I turned 16, I decided to try out weightlifting. However, I had no idea what I was doing, was too self-conscious to ask for help, and was not consistent in the slightest. I would only train my arms, along with that, I kept up the same diet of carbs and sugar. However, occasionally, I would have a protein shake, so that was something. But can you believe it? It wasn't showing me any sort of results. And for some reason, I wouldn't change it. I'm not sure if it was because I was too lazy or was too self-conscious to recognize it, but I needed to make a change and take working out seriously and not be afraid to ask for help in all honesty. Cut to June, 2021. I'm more mature, theoretically. <laughs> I'm more mature, 18 years old, a lot more open-minded and have some direction in my life. I'd finally come to the realization that I had a lot to learn and that's okay. As long as I was working on my goals, it didn't matter where I was in life. I took that mindset and applied it to the gym. Motivated by guys like Barbarian Body, Chris Bumstead, Dylan McKnight, Jeremy Ether, Jeff Nippard, and Gravity Transformation, I started taking working out and bodybuilding more seriously and I'm so glad that I did. I was also helped by people in my life, like my good friend Tiago. Whoa, I think I was nine. I don't know if I counted correctly. <laughs> I wasn't counting. I just making sure, like, yeah, I just make sure just in case. That seemed good to me, though. <laughs> so this is this is the guy that got me into working out. It's my good buddy Tiago. <laughs> well, thanks, man. But yeah, Tiago got me into working out and everything. And like tenth grade, well, like I was doing like, well, I wasn't really doing much. But so Arms. he he got me to work out a little bit more and care about a little bit more. And then now we're here. <laughs> and now I need to care about it a little more. <laughs> I went off a lot of their advice and found a workout routine that worked for me. So I was actually training all my muscle groups. I split up my training days to five days a week, actually hitting my chest, arms, shoulders, legs, back, and doing it consistently. I started eating better foods and making sure I was intaking a lot of protein, which helped me garner a lot of results. That then led me to calculating my BMI and tracking my calories, allowing myself some cheat meals now and then, but the important thing was I didn't feel like I needed to because I genuinely enjoyed the healthier foods I was eating anyways. That led to more results and more confidence, which led me to want to do it more. It was a snowball effect of positive things in my life that I couldn't recommend enough for anybody that was in a situation like myself or literally just anybody out there. I even got my good friend Julian into working out with me, and over the past three months, he has seen some insane progress, and I got to thinking to myself. I wish I knew this when I was younger, when I was just uncomfortable with myself and wanted to make a change, but didn't know what I was doing in the gym in the slightest. I wish so badly that I knew what I know now. That's what led me to thinking, why don't I share what I've learned with you guys? Hopefully helping somebody that needs it, like a young kid that was just like me just needing a little bit of guidance and motivation to get started. Here is exactly to a T what I would have told my younger self. Okay, so there were three main things that led to my success. Training, diet, and mindset. Let's start with training. This took me a long time to understand what I was doing, and even now I'm not sure it's the most effective way to go about it. However, it has worked for me. I dedicate five different days to training different muscle groups. My training split goes like this. Day one is chest. The exercises I do are high cable flies, then flat barbell bench press, then incline bench press with dumbbells, then either pec deck flies or incline fly with dumbbells. Day two is arms slash abs. For arms, I start off with concentrated curls, then tricep pull downs, then 21s, skull crushers, hammer curls, and finally dips focused on the tricep. For the abs, I do weighted decline sit-ups, V setups, pulse ups, and planks to finish it off. Day three is shoulders. First is rear delt flies, then shoulder press, lateral raises, shrugs, front raises, then to finish it off, a T pose. 
Day four is legs slash cardio. For legs, I do barbell squats, leg extensions, leg curls, and calf raises. That's followed by my cardio, which is on the treadmill with incline 12, speed three, walk in for about 30 minutes. I'm usually just watching an episode of a show, which is usually the easiest way to get through the cardio for me. Day five is back slash abs. For back, I do wide grip pull-ups, close grip pull-ups, bent over rows, lap pull ups finally dumbbell rows. For abs, I do stability ball crunches, long arm crunches, oblique v-sits, and planks to finish it off. Okay, so all the information in the workout can be found below on a Google Doc that's really easy to follow, that you can copy into your notes or screenshot it, whatever you want to do so that you can bring it with you to the gym and know what you're doing. Also, we'll be making videos about each of these workouts in the future going in more detail. Okay, let's go. Okay, so with that being said, I don't really have dedicated rest days. Whenever my body is really sore to where it feels like I will be doing more harm than good training that day, I choose to have a rest day. Simple as that. But I keep it very consistent, which was a struggle for me at the start but is the most important thing to get down. You have to push yourself to be consistent and eventually it just feels like a routine. There are a lot of really great training splits out there like push pull legs and that's a great option. But for right now, the one I'm doing really works for me. It's called a bro split. For me, it's the most simple way to keep track of everything and I've been getting a lot of great results on the routine. Here are a few things I make sure to do while training. First, I warm up before every workout. It's important so I don't hurt myself. Next, I take almost every exercise to failure. I don't really just do four sets of 10 reps, I'll do four sets while trying my hardest each time. Another thing I do is I always make sure to go light when I'm trying out an exercise for the first time. This makes sure that I can get down the proper form and be hitting the part of my muscle that I want to be hitting. Then I slowly increase the weight. The next big change I made was with my diet. I went from a diet consisting of cereal, sandwiches, cookies, pretty much whatever I wanted. So me changing up my diet played a huge role in my success. I went from that to making sure I was taking in a lot of protein. Then from there, making sure I was trying to eat more healthy food than junk. Then I focused on a low calorie, high protein diet and trying to stay at a certain calorie range while eating as much protein as possible, which is where I'm at now. I found my calorie range through this thing called a calorie calculator. Here's how I did it. First, I put in my age, height, weight, and then it shows if I want to maintain weight, lose weight, or gain weight, how many calories I should be intaking. Here are some examples of foods that I found that I like to eat. First off, eggs, either scrambled, over easy, whatever keeps it fresh, but I make sure that I use low calorie oil. Next is turkey bacon. It's low calorie, high protein, and I genuinely like the way it tastes. You can have six pieces for like 150 calories. <laughs> Another example of good foods I have is protein shakes. It's either blueberries, strawberries, or banana to mix it up and keep it fresh. For the shakes, I'll add a scoop of protein powder, then Greek yogurt, then almond milk or whatever nut milk, and maybe some cocoa powder or PB2. Oftentimes, I will have a shake alongside a meal because I'll have maybe two to three meals throughout the day, so it helps me get my calorie goal while having something sweet, which, as a sweet tooth myself, is a big help. <laughs> now, those are all breakfast foods, but I genuinely really enjoy them and have no problem eating them on a consistent basis. For easy snacks, I'll have something like a protein bar. These ones from Costco are literally the best. Or I could have some Greek yogurt with honey and some fruit either things that are high in protein or lower in calories, or both even. <laughs> For a meal, like dinner, I'll have something like pasta and shrimp, chicken and rice, salmon, because ultimately for diet, the most important part is finding those healthier foods that fit in the calorie range that you enjoy. The final thing that was a game changer to me was having the mindset of not expecting instant results. Things like building muscle take time and knowing that I haven't been getting upset if I don't see a drastic difference every time I look in the mirror after a workout. Having that mental toughness to keep up with working out consistently and sticking to a plan. You need to have that mentality to continue to push on, which can be very tough at times, but just know you got this. You'll continue to grow and learn. Also keep in mind that comparing yourself to people on social media isn't a fair comparison. Oftentimes they make sure that they have the best lighting, posing to show off their muscles in the best way possible and likely just finished a workout and could potentially be on PEDs. So never let somebody's looks on the internet discourage you from your progress. That's all I know from the fitness world and uh, that's everything that's changed how I looked physically and a lot of my outlook on life. So for everybody out there that needs some guidance, I hope this helps. Be confident and push forward and I believe in you.